majority of these mock drafts have C.D. Lamb out of Oklahoma as the first wide receiver off the board. Rhett, what do you think sets him apart from some of the other guys in this draft? Lamb has consistent and successful catch attempts that have been routine when he's both wide open and when he's in crowded spaces against DBs. Some of the best hands in this draft belong to C.D. Lamb. And for his size, he has great body contortion and bend. He's six foot two, 198 pounds, really good explosiveness for jump balls and 50-50 combat catching type of deal. His ability to quickly adjust off throw with change of direction can be a quarterback's best friend. He averaged 21.9 yards per catch in 2019. Coach Mack, maybe give me one or two additional elite wide receivers in this group. I think Jerry Judy is in that elite level. And you could go Jerry Judy and C.D. Lamb 1-1-A and flip them however you want to. But Jerry Judy, 6'1", 192 pounds. He's a junior coming out of Alabama, and he's got all the tools to be a number one X or slot in this league. He's got an entire route release package. He's got the ability to create separation. He's got elite feet, and he's got really good lower body flex, which means he can sink his hips, and he's really good run after catch. He needs to add a little muscle mass. And he needs work a little bit about leaning, you know, towards and into the coverage sometimes. But in combat situations, he's good. He's got long speed. I think he's got a very high floor, as we talk about in the draft world. And he's a polished prospect. The other guy that I'm going to talk about is Henry Ruggs out of Alabama. And and when you start talking about Henry Ruggs, his skill set starts with elite speed. Okay. He's got good ball tracking ability. He's six foot, 190 pounds. He wore number 11 for him. He's also a junior, but he's got really strong hands. Now, his speed will dictate to most defenses that he goes up against that they have to back up. They have to concentrate on him just because that's one thing that you can't coach is pure speed that he has. And he has acceleration into contact. He's not as polished a route runner yet. As Judy, once he starts showing some sophistication in his releases, he's a first-round pick, and he'll be somebody's slot receiver immediately. Colorado's LaVisca Chenault. Now, is he still a top-ranking wide receiver, even though he's had some injury issues? Yes, he is, Amy. As a matter of fact, he had uh, surgery to repair a core muscle injury that he was actually working through when he was doing his try workouts and everything in Indianapolis at the Combine. His hands are good and strong, but his route running needs some work because of his unique versatility. In fact, outside of the offensive line, there wasn't a position that he didn't play. His best contributions came when he was treated primarily as a wide receiver, and that type of prior experience from multiple spots throughout the offense will provide an offensive coordinator with a multifaceted option to utilize. Are there other guys who you think could sneak into being day one picks? Jalen Rager from TCU, Frog. Okay, he's 5'11", 195 pounds. Number one, he's a junior. Now what Jalen Rager has, he's got what we call easy speed. In other words, he doesn't struggle to move. He doesn't struggle to get off the line of scrimmage. He can track the ball vertically, which is a big, big trait to have when you've got speed. He's a twitched up athlete. He can create some separation. He's got track speed, but he's not a contact catcher. Well, he's a creative guy. He's explosive. He's a speed mismatch to most corners. He's raw, but he's very fast. That is something that everybody always looks at. The other guy I will point out is Justin Jefferson from LSU. 6'3", 192 pounds, number two. He's a junior. He's a very versatile receiver, Amy. He's got the skills to play from the slot, from outside. He's a really good nuanced route runner. He's got really good ball skills as far as catches away from his body. If you bring Justin Jefferson into somewhere that already has a dominant receiver, this guy will be an immediate starter as a number two, and you'll be really glad you have him. Denzel Mims of Baylor, 6'3", 207, ran a sub-4, 440-yard dash, vertical leap of 38 and a half inches, nearly an 11-foot broad jump, so that shows all of the explosiveness. He's got huge mitts for hands, and the spring that he's got at his size has a chance to win a lot of contested catches at the next level. Who are some of your favorite day two picks, guys who could be real impact players at the next level? Chase Claypool of Notre Dame at six foot four, 238 pounds, under four five, showing big bursts for a big man. Brandon 
Ayuk from Arizona State. He's number two. He's a senior, six foot, 201 pounds. Now, this guy's a big, big play threat guy. He's super twitchy, and he's really good with the ball in his hands. The other guy for me is T. Higgins out of Clemson, 6'4, 215 pounds. He's number five. He was a junior. He's got length, he's got size. He's got elevation ability, all right? He's got build-up speed. He's not an immediate just jump out of the blocks guy, but he's got a little bit of tightness in his hips and his knees that can limit him sometimes in some of what his route tree is and some of his elusiveness. His downfield combat catching ability is really at the top of the charts. Who are some wide receivers who could go in some of those later rounds but would add a lot of value. Van Jefferson from Florida, 6'2", 197 pounds. He's number 12. He's a redshirt senior. He's a really, really good route runner. He's technique strong. He's got quick feet. He's a physical blocker. And I think he's a really good technique wide receiver. Lynn Bowden of Kentucky. He made all SEC freshman team at Kentucky. He led the Kentucky Wildcats the following season in receptions, receiving yards, receiving touchdowns. He can play nearly every position on the field, but he has explosive hips, quick feet, deadly combo for change of direction. He even played some quarterback for them. He is an intriguing prospect. Give me a player or two that might be a late round pick or could really even go undrafted. Omar Bayless of Arkansas State. He was 6'1 and change, 200 and change. If you just go look at his highlight reel, he makes a lot of really impressive one-handed touchdown catches. He's an athlete that I think could help some teams, especially on the back end of a roster. Brian Edwards out of South Carolina. 6'3", 215-pound guy. He was number 89. He's a senior. This guy is a physical receiver. He needs more consistent hands, but he's got some tools to work with. And the other guy is Antonio Gandy-Golden from Liberty. He's got really good ball skills. He can track the ball. He's got length. He's another combat catcher. He would be a real red zone threat. He'd have a spot on a roster. Mm -hmm.